Hey, what's going on, YouTubers? You should guys find this host by Mike. Uh, I would please love it if people can start sharing, commenting, sub, pass the word around. Um, I, I, I would love to start getting more views, uh, more subs, more people showing interest in what I have to say and have. I mean, I'm a pioneer of YouTube. I've been on YouTube for a long time, whether some people like me or not. I always, I'm very opinionated and always have something positive and something I can add to the channel just like I watch other people's videos I am extremely exhausted I'm actually going past I'm going past 20 no more than that yeah I'm going past like I'm going past 28 or maybe 30 hours of no sleep oh I'm exhausted um Yesterday, I of course, I went to the Maryland's. I didn't do too well financially as far as setting up and selling. I didn't do well at all buying. I brought one figure from Dominic, and it was a G.I. Joe three-pack. Um, I paid 40 bucks for it. I seen him sell them for like $100. His condition was terrible, obviously, but I might take him out the package. I don't know yet. So I brought that, and... Um, I'm trying to think why I brought anything else at the flea market yesterday. I don't even remember. Uh, but after that, I came home and I was just doing a million things. I never got a chance to go to sleep or even rest my eyes. Then I got two phone calls. The third phone call I got from Eddie. Um, you know, we both just, you know, sat on the phone for 15 minutes. And, and we both came to the conclusion that I should just meet him at his Lodi storage unit, which that's what I did. And I wound up being there for like seven hours. We left there around 12 ish then we left um the clinton clifton location at probably a little after one basically i got home about maybe 15 minutes shy of two o'clock if i'm not mistaken in the morning came home did that quick video which is the one prior to this one um where i got the cobra steel kaiju from uh from eddie boxed and everything nice piece it's vinyl but it looks like a carbon copy of the one from the G.I. Joe Real American Hero Revenge of Cobra Part 3. Once you get around 17 minutes of that episode, you see, you know, the Cobra Sentinel battling, uh, like some kind of rock monster or something like that. Anyway, you know, Eddie taught me into getting it, and it's ironic because I was doing a puzzle, maybe like somewhere between early last week or something like that, and, um, I was sitting on the floor and I was watching YouTube and, you know, the G.I. Joe, a lot of episodes keep running back and forth, you know, like maybe four or five episodes come on, then maybe about an hour or so later, it'll, it'll, the same episode will, re will rerun again. Either way, look at it, that episode came on. I was like, oh yeah, Eddie have that. And I was just laughing. I said, well, when he comes back from, you know, his vacation in Florida, I'll, I'll see if I can work out something with him. And I did, and I got one. I got two, actually. One, one to resell and one for me. Um, other than that, oh, and of course I got these yesterday too. I got some items from him. Um, oh, that's what I think I showed you guys. Uh, yesterday, I, I, I am exhausted, so I'm sorry. My apologies. I did show you the Mortal Kombat boat and the other helicopter. I have a, the first one, but I have to take it apart to reconnect the blade because, I, you know, I guess the weight, whatever, any way you look at it, whatever, I just have to fix that. And I wanted to get another one anyway because they look so badass. So I got two. And I also forgot to um, show you guys these. He kept his word. He gave me these for $10 each. And this one got this guy for 5 So he I basically paid 25 for the three. You got this guy here. And you got um, Black Manta, which is ironic because I think he got the black. I think he got this from me. I don't, I, I mean, well, sometimes I don't recognize my, nah, it says DC Essentials, so it definitely didn't come from me. It probably came from me, but he wrote it down. Oh, who knows? Anyway, it's pretty cool. And then we have here, um, Dead, the pi Pirate Deadpool, something like this, I'll put 20 bucks on it, maybe even 25, because it is Deadpool. Pirate or not, that's why I would ask for it. Black Manta, I would probably put 20 on it because somebody's going to say, would you take 15? You can't put 15 because somebody's going to say, would you take 10? 
So that's why certain things you just, you know, you got to will and deal it. This guy, I'll probably put 15 on him and somebody's going to say 10. I'm not going to put 10 because somebody's going to say 5. I don't know yet. I'll decide what I'm going to do with these as far as pricing goes. So I did forget to show you guys that. Like I said, I was extremely exhausted early this morning. I am still tired. I still didn't close my eyes yet. I, well, actually, I'm lying. I did close my eyes for about an hour and maybe 10 minutes or so when I got down to Columbus. Um, because, like, we had to wait in a line, and, you know, I didn't pay for the monthly. So, being I was a daily, I got in, I got I got the spot I wanted anyway. I did pretty good, considering the crap I had. I did wait, I did better, I did better there today than I did in the Meadowlands, which is always a shock. Um, it, start, it was still slow, it was slow, and it started very slow, but I was very optimistic and happy, which is ironic. <laughs> and, I, and, you know, wound up being all right. And, um... Yeah, so whatever. So let me show you guys the stuff I got. The guy I mentioned, Ralph, I uh, mentioned him a lot. And, you know, last time I saw Ralph, I wasn't, you know, big into contemplating if I was going to, you know, get back into G.I. Joe's or not. Or, I mean, you know, keep the ones I had or get into it. So it's been well over a month since I've seen him, almost basically two months. And I saw him today, and we talked, and he said he was setting up. So I brought stuff from him. His prices are a little crazy in a lot of ways, especially considering that a lot of his stuff don't be in the best condition when he's selling stuff but people still buy it regardless so let me show you the stuff i got early in the morning when it was still dark outside i got this from this um indian guy and his wife well they could be dainy they could be trinidadian but they indian looking um i don't know what these go for oh man i didn't even look to see if the games are in there that was stupid they are but i didn't even do that I paid 15 for the 3Ds. Uh, he wanted $10 a game, and he wanted $10 for this book. I'm pretty sure the book is probably worth the 10 the Super Mario, I mean Super Smash Bros. Melee. And it's for the GameCube. This other kid, you know, he did get the Resident Evil 2 ones and other stuff, but I don't remember if I had them or not. But I I was tired, and I was walking around, and I really didn't want to carry any, any more stuff than I had to. So I wasn't really, I didn't really care if he got that stuff or not. Um, I did get Splatoon for the Wii U and Nintendo Land for the Wii U. I'm pretty sure I got rid of one or, or both. I don't know, but it was 15 bucks for the three of them. The Super Smash Bros. Melee book alone is probably worth that. You know, as a matter of fact, you guys know I like to be straight up on point when it comes to like, uh, you know, I don't like spitting stuff out my mouth that I don't have the correct knowledge with. That I've always been like that. So let's go look look up the GameCube uh, GameCube Super Smash. Super Smash Bros. Strategy guides right here. Okay, let's see what they go for. Well, they got a Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Official Guy for 15 bucks, and that's definitely not that book. This is an older one. That's why I typed in, I must say Goodwill. That's how I tied I am. That's why I typed in uh, GameCube. This is a GameCube one and sold for 8 bucks. Authentic. And that's an authentic one. This is by Prima, Prima Games. Is this it? Yeah, that's is it. Okay. So why, why why this one and secret cover insert? So for sixteen dollars and ninety nine cents. So basically, this mag this magazine alone is worth that. But I'm pretty confident it doesn't have the secret. Oh, it does. It's right here. So it does have the secret. Uh, what is it? Secret. Uh, cover insert. So it sold for seventeen dollars, sixteen ninety nine on the nineteenth of last month, and it is this book. Of course, it was a lot more straighter, but, you know, I did that. I'm tired. I was exhausted, too. I've been tired all day like a zombie. And I kept closing my eyes every now and again um, at the market, too, which I wouldn't really recommend. But I was, I was by a couple people that were really cool. They understood, and, you know, or, you know, they watched out. So it was pretty cool. Let's see what Splatoon was going for. You know, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter because... <laughs> It's like I got the I got both of these games for free because you know fifteen bucks. 
So Splatoon pre-owned goes for like you got it for eight dollars, seventeen dollars and fifty-four cent. Forty is brand new, twelve dollars, thirteen, nine dollars, eleven, da da da. I'm gonna say it's a ten dollar game. So I'm already ten dollars up. And let's see what this is how I calculate, so that way if I do decide to get rid of stuff. Alright, let's see Nintendo Land is right here. Nintendo Land is like a ten dollar game. Well, somebody got one here for a dollar. And sold one sold for a dollar on the fourth. Then you got eleven ninety nine. Six bucks. Six bucks. Alright, whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. So whatever. In a day I paid fifteen, the book alone is worth two dollars more than that. So you could say I'm like, you know, I gained twenty bucks. He, he, him and his, he, I think him and his wife, I, I got to start paying more attention. I was exhausted. I should have gathered more information from him and asked him what flea market they go to. And that way on the Saturday, I would go down there because they said they had a lot of video game stuff. And if you see the strategy guides they had, they must have had about 40 strategy guides, some good strategy guides. And they said, oh, yeah, we had the games for the strategy guides, but those sold yesterday. And we had a lot of good systems, too, that all sold yesterday. So basically what they had today was the leftover stuff that... He said he had a box of stuff that they didn't get to, and everything else is left over as far as games um, go. So they must have went crazy. They must have got some good stuff yesterday, obviously, if they sold out somewhere else. I need to start paying more attention to where people get their stuff from. That's my fault. All right. So anyway, uh, let's move on to the next bag. All right. So this stuff I did get. Um, that don't belong here. I know, I know where that's from, but that has nothing to do with this. Um, what did I pay for this, though? Oh, I, well, I paid 100 I paid Ralph 100 for this at first. And then I went back a second time and got more stuff from him as I already packed up and I was about to leave. So this whole bag cost me $100. He wanted, a, actually, no, it cost me one, he wanted 150 Then we, then I said, do 100 He wasn't going to budge on that. Um... All the Star Wars stuff he had, he wanted four fifty for it. For a person that just wanted to get back into Star Wars and didn't have any Star Wars figures and stuff, the stuff he had, I thought was worth. It was probably worth paying a four fifty. Well, being that a lot of it, I'm gonna. Well, a lot of it I probably needed anyway. So, but you know, there's always next Sunday. He has a next Sunday. I'll figure something out. Whatever. But this stuff here, I paid him the price he wanted. I mean, well, not the price he wanted. He wanted one fifty. So I was like, okay, how? Nah, I, I, a hundred. He said, I will tell you what. Uh, I think he said one. Yeah, he went from one fifty. He said one twenty five. I was like, uh, one ten. He said, all right, make it one fifteen. And sometimes when you deal with a person for a, a certain amount of time and period, you get to know their tone and certain key words they use. Like this is my final offer. So I was like, you know what? I settled on the. I settled on the uh, the three. I mean the three. The one fifteen. So. I am trying to build up a lot of my Marvel and super, Marvel and DC superheroes again. Like I said, during the summer, I mean, during the COVID, the whole year last year, my wife allowed me to fill our basement with every toy, which means I was taking money and I was just, you know, recycling money into Lego, everything. I mean, it, I helped my mom with my brother's uh, final um, expenses. I also brought my truck, my expedition straight out. That's how much stuff I had and how good I did. At the flea market this this past year when things start opening back up. It was just crazy. So, um, you got this um, General Zod right here. I actually like Michael Shannon. Uh, I think he's a good actor. I liked him and when he was in uh, Bad Boys 2. I, I know my rights. You know, in the beginning of the, uh, the trailer park uh, when the Ku Klux Klan was making a deal and stuff like that. And right before Mike shot uh, Marcus in the butt. Um, he was like, he was in that movie. He was in a lot of other movies too, like Emin Eminem's, um, um, Eight Mile. I, I think Michael Shannon is an underrated actor. I mean, he has a lisp, but I think he could play a lot of roles, of roles, roles, roles. I had it right. <laughs> and, uh, I think he played General Zod very well. I mean, he's no Terrence, um, Stamper or, or, or something like that, but I thought he played it really well. And I actually do like Men of Steel. Um, when I when I first realized that Henry Cavill was playing Superman, I was like, he's gonna be a good Superman because I've seen that mythical Greek movie where he was like, I forgot, I think Perseus or something like that, and I liked him in that. 
And he was in good shape for that, but he bulked up for Superman. I was like, he's gonna, I think he's going to play a good Superman. People was like, man, you crazy. What happened? He was a good Superman. I told everybody Ben Affleck was going to play a good Batman. Then I said that even up here. And everybody's like, nah, that's crazy. Yo, Daredevil sucked. I said, Daredevil had nothing. I, I mean, Daredevil? Yeah, Daredevil had nothing to do with him playing a Batman role. You know what I'm saying? He's an actor who's portraying a part in a movie that somebody wrote. At the end of the day, you can't fault the actor for a movie a movie plummeting because the scenes, not even the scenes, but just the way that the dialogue and everything they put in the movie, if the writers and the directors do it that way, the actor can only do so much. They can only carry so much, you know what I'm saying? So anyhow, I got this from him. I also got this one. And this is cool how whoever had this, they actually had his hands locked behind him like that. And this one doesn't have a cape. This is like when uh, when Clark, when Superman or Kyle, whatever you want to call him, was on the ship, and they were, and he was in his atmosphere on the ship, and he, and when he was talking to to uh, to Kyle, he had his hand, he had this on without no cape, and um, he had his hands um, behind his back like that, and I was like, oh snap, that's really cool how somebody did that. I thought that was dope. So yeah. So these two guys, I would put like, I would put 20 bucks each on them. Y'all might say that's crazy. No, I would because, you know, they are main characters and it's very rare, it's very rare to find these guys. Um, this is actually really badass. This guy, I would put, this is a DC Direct, um, Tom Welling, um, Smallville's um, Clark Kent. This dude, I would definitely ask 30 bucks on. I'll probably do 40. I got to look him up, but... This is something I might actually keep because I love some, I love Smallville, and I might actually keep this figure. To be honest, I might just display it because I am a huge Tom Welling fan from this. So if my daughter don't want it, I'll take it because I, I don't know if she still have a crush on him and like him. But anyway, and then this as well. Um, I do have two Resident Evil figures already, and um, I don't remember which guy this is, but it is Resident Evil and um, it is Capcom because I didn't look at it. And he basically gave me, he gave me the Smallville, Tom Welling, um, Clark Kent, both um, Men of Steel, um, General Zods, and this guy for $3 a pop. So I basically gave him $12 for these. Uh, what was this? Toy Biz. Wait, what does it say? Toy Biz and Capcom. So it says Capcom 1999. So let's look it up. I'm going to look up Resident Evil real quick because I do want to know who this guy is. Cause I'm starting to zip lock bag everything, put prices and their names on it, so I can I can know. So that way, not when I, because I, I hate taking stuff out to the market. People say how much is this, and I'm standing there with a stupid look in my face, like, mm. um. And you know, people don't like when you guess. So when they have prices and see prices there, they'll work out stuff. If not, it is what it is. All right, let's see. Why did I, why did I not put figure? I'm not really going crazy with looking for video games. If I come across video games and systems and whatever, fine. If not, fine. You know, um, I really concentrate more on... I've always been more of a toy guy. Maybe, I might just start buying comics and stuff like that as well because there's money into all that, and I don't see this guy at all. So far, I'm looking at so much stuff, and I don't see him at all. Maybe I should put Toy Biz Capcom, right? Maybe that would make sense. <sighs> of course, it's the, it's, it's the one I got to get. And it's funny because, you know, um, today I got this Resident Evil 1. And then last week, from this Asian lady, I got the uh, I got the Ivy Hunter. Um, you know, the Ivy Hunter from, uh, from there, too. You put Toy Biz Capcom. Maybe that might work. I want to see, so excuse me. Yeah, it's not coming up. I see zombies. I see the um the evil Ivy, whatever you want to call it. Uh, Tyrant, Mister X. You got so many names. Then you got yep, Tyrant again. So I'm basically seeing everybody but this dude. 
Is this him here in his, in his double pack? If not, I'm just going to have to find time to look him up. Yeah, he's definitely not hunk. Oh, well, this other thing. Some of y'all probably laughing at me right now, like, oh, that's so-and-so, but I can't hear y'all. <laughs> so, Because somebody out there, or people out there know who this dude is. I just don't. Um... Maybe he is tiring on somebody without the coat. I don't, I doubt it, because... It... It is. I just answer my own question. So it is Tyrant Mr. X. He just doesn't he just doesn't have the coat, unfortunately. Well, now I know. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna leave it up here on this page and open up another eBay page. So if I wanna look up something else. Oh, I didn't even look and see what he's going for. Well, he's going for 66 sealed. So I would say he's definitely like a $20 figure loose. Probably 15 About 20 to 15 loose. Because even if he doesn't have his uh, coat. So, again, he want, this was $20. So he wound up just doing He wound up just bundling everything for me. So, uh, again, I got... No, oh, I'm sorry. Let me go back to this. So, you, I, you know. So, again, I got uh, both General Zods. DC Direct, um, Time Will in Smallville, um, Clark Kent, that's a lot to say. And um, the Tyrant, a.k.a. Mr. X, without his coat. And he said he'll do $3 each on them. I was like, wow, that's crazy. I thought he was going to say 10 or 15 because the prices are crazy, but these are in good condition. And I was, you know, and I would have took them for the, t for the 10 each. And um, I know Capcom, especially uh, Resident Evil figures uh pokemon figures those are money you know um i mean they're not worth a million dollars but it's something that you can always sell and get rid of so 12 bucks for these and then the rest of this stuff so he sold on 125 so let me show you guys this is an m bison from 1994 i don't have this one and it is one of the, is in one is it is in one of these cases Speaking of cases, all this case is yellowed, and I do have a whole bunch of these cases I got from this other guy that I got G.I. Joe stuff from, and I'm going to show you guys that, too. He um, he had a whole bunch of them, and he sold them to me for $20. He said $20. I thought he was going to say $20. I thought he was going to say $20 a stack. I am extremely exhausted, so if I'm talking over myself and stuttering and, and, and whatnot, please forgive me. I am exhausted, and I'm doing this video to share what I got with you guys, so please understand that. And don't be rude or disrespectful, because there's no need to. Um, but I got a whole bunch of these cases from him. But anyway, this is one figure. I keep forgetting this guy's name. Um, so that's two figures. I did get Big Ben. I think that's Big Ben. He just needs a new waist. So that's three. He basically wanted $10 a figure. Which is, ironically understandable because if I was selling figures I would sell them minute I would sell them myself minimally at about ten themselves. I mean you know that they're vintage GI Joe's from the eighties and nineties. I mean you know eighty two to ninety four there's no excuse why somebody wouldn't want to pay ten dollars a figure. That's basically the going common rate. You're not gonna find a damn GI Joe around that era for five dollars. That's crazy. Even if it has a um, a busted hand or a busted crotch, still no. Anyhow so I got Big Ben. I keep forgetting this guy's name. Um, this Cobra guy. And then you got 1994 M. Bison with the Psycho Crusher um, fist. Because they kind of glow in the dark. Psycho Crusher. Then we got, uh, I think this is version 4, Cobra Commander. He's very, very tight. I just have to open up his, uh, of course it doesn't work. I have to open up his backpack. So I can get to his waist and fix his, you know, give him a better U O U ring. O ring. I am exhausted again. So that would be four figures, right? We got here. Yep, four figures. That's already forty bucks. Then we have version two of Mutt. No junkyard. I think I have an extra junkyard. I gotta take the dog out because it was the same dog. I'll just add him with this one. Um, another figure, ten bucks. So that's 50 right now, because it's 5. 
beautiful condition shipwreck. No poly, but still no beautiful, um, beautiful um, desert connection uh, condition. Ten bucks as well. So that's six at sixty bucks. Cover girl, you know, cover girl has gotten pricey, um, and she's actually in really, really good condition. I don't think they did a um, a straight arm version of her. I think they only did the uh, swivel arm in ninety three. I mean eighty three when she came with the Wolverine, and she's actually in very great condition. And I need her to go with my Wolverine, so that is perfecto. She's like a thirty forty dollar figure. Um, so this making seven figures, making at seventy bucks. Now, mind you, we already have seven GI Joe figures, and I still got those uh, those four um, six inch figures include. You know what I mean? So you figure seventy plus twelve, that's already eighty two dollars. Now we got Laser Viper um, with his helmet, no nothing else, but he's basically a twenty dollar figure just like this. His waist is a little loose, but that's another ten. So that's eighty. That's eight figures. So eight totaling, you know, eight is basically eighty bucks. So eighty plus twelve is ninety two. Now we have Armored Cobra Commander. I didn't remember if I have Armored Cobra Commander or not. He had another one, but it was kind of the blue was like real faded. It was like almost like a like a sea green because I guess from years of stains and whatever. Of course, he needs a new. Um, he needs an O ring because it, you know he's detached. Yay, he's detached. Ten bucks, so that's nine figures, making that ninety bucks. Ninety and ninety and twelve is one oh two. Now this guy is basically like he's he alone is like a thirty forty dollar figure. This is a crimson guard. Yes, he does need a you know, he doesn't have a O ring. Um he's busted, but he's in very, very, very good condition as well. All these are in great condition. That's why I took him. He had more figures, and he had a, a couple of them that I needed, but I didn't like the condition and the fact that they were kind of stained as far as, like, you know, those colors ain't coming out. Um, so this is another figure that's he's probably worth, like, 30 maybe maybe more, but I got him for 10 So the, he makes the 10th figure, making that 100 So 112 is $112. Now, here we have... A hat for, I think, actually, I think that's Red Star. This is not um, Big Ben. I'm sorry. This is Red Star. Big Ben is the guy that, um, that that comes from England. This is Red Star. He comes from Mother Russia. So that's Captain Red Star, if I'm not mistaken. Just to give you guys a heads up again, Red Star. Because this goes to, I think, Big Ben. Well, whoever, whoever the hell this, go, this cap goes to, who cares? It is a G.I. Joe cap. And I have, I know one of these is Flint, and I think one of these is Cesspool or something like that. I um, mean, he did have both of the guns and backpacks for them, so I took those. Uh, he went at $10 a weapon. But, you know, he said, well, if you take everything for my price, you can take it. And he gave me Roll Pig's um, little shoulder chest plate thing. And I, I don't know if I have this or not, but I have Roll Pig, so by me just having this, that's perfect. This is this will probably fetch for around ten dollars by itself, and then these at ten dollars each. I mean, I think ten dollars each is a little excessive for these, but I don't know if they go for for the eco eco warrior figures. But I figured five bucks for both was good. But he threw all this stuff in, and then we have, I think this is Freedom. Unfortunately, Freedom does not have his lower leg to clip to um, a spirit, but still no, it's still a Freedom. So. I know Freedom is probably like a ten, fifteen dollar um, bird by itself. That I knew no, because I was look, I, I needed them and I was looking them up. So all this stuff I gotta wipe down and clean and all that jibber jabber. But then the grand finale of the show, yes, he is yellowed, but it's still a storm shadow. He is dirty and yellowed, um, but it is a storm shadow. And of course, he's not in the best condition, but I can fix all that. I don't know about getting him white, but he's in really good condition otherwise. Uh, I mean, we, I mean, I can sell this like this. It's, I could just take a picture of this right now and just sell it just like this and probably get 40 bucks easy easy for this. So, you know, that makes the 11th figure, if I'm not mistaken. So 11 is $110. So basically, one, 110 and uh, 12 is 122 He went at 125 But when you think about it, some of these figures are going... So these figures do sell between ten to seventy bucks. Seventy bucks. I mean, you know that Crimson Guard 
has to be at least a thirty dollar figure. And Storm Shadow, we, I mean, just in parts, we know what he goes for. You know what I mean? So it was a good hit. It was definitely a good hit. As a matter of fact, let's see. G.I. Joe Crimson. Let's see what they go for. And I spelled it wrong. See, I admit when I spell something wrong. I, I meant to put U. I meant to put U A R D, but instead I put U. I mean, I put A U R D for guard. Of course, I didn't forget the G. I'm just basically saying. Uh, let's see what he sold for. Well, he's fifty bucks sold with his backpack and his gun, rifle. How much is he? Wow! Ooh, somebody brought it for a dollar. That don't make no sense. Sheesh. Because I'm looking at here, a Crimson Guard complete with the Cobra Bat 145, 13 bids, and it's sold. So I know the Crimson Guard worth a couple of dollars. They worth a lot. He's worth more than a dollar. This person's probably knew it. They were probably a scammer. Because who the hell? I mean, even at an auction, why nobody else bid on that thing? Like, here's one right here Crimson Guard version 1. 20 bucks. Let's see what condition he's in. Mm hmm. -hmm. I'm just curious. Okay, so he has a lot of paint wear. But other than that, he looks good. And he does come with his backpack for 20 bucks. Okay, so whatever. You know, it is what it is. You know, um, I am exhausted, y'all. I'm about to fall asleep on you guys and girls out there. So, please like, sub, share, comment, and show respect by helping a brother out. Because I'm doing all this stuff for you guys. Well, I'm not going to even look up what Storm Shadow goes for. Who gives a flying crap? I mean, I'm exhausted. All right, so we're done with that bag. Now we're going to move over to the $90 I spent with the with the, uh, the other guy. I, I can't remember his name, so. So I got these bags here from him, $90. Click back in because I can't see the page. Okay, there you go. So I got all this for ninety dollars. Three bags. So let's go. With, let's start with this bag first. I don't know why I brought them, but he had um all these figure. He had like three or four of them. It's sad that they're all yellowed, as you can see. Oh yeah, this is in my that was in my car. I'll put that in here. So there's, there's a lot of them. I think he would have sold a lot more if they were all clear, but they are they are yellowed, so you know he had they were somewhere for a very long time. And you know, you put the figures in here. And there's one more in the bag just like this one. I don't need to take them all out, it's the same thing. So I was like, how much for them? I thought he was gonna he was like twenty. I was like, oh okay. And I was gonna, I was gonna be like, all right, let me get one for twenty. And he was like, all right, yeah, take them. And I said, well, all of them, everything twenty. He said, yeah. I said, oh, even better. Okay. I was shocked. I thought he made twenty dollars or a pack. But he was like, nope. So that was twenty. And then he calculated everything. So when I came back, he already had everything priced out at ninety dollars. I trust him and I know him. So you figure twenty for that. And then these guys, he hooked me up for ten dollars a pop. You have the Sugar Man's um, Weapon X, and this is uh, complete with the Builder figure. You have the uh, the Game Verse um, Spider Man, um, the Demi Goblin uh, version, and then we have the Legend. We got the Black Widow um, Origins version of Black Widow herself. So I would sell these for twenty bucks a pop. I was still selling for at cost. Because neither, neither three of these are like, you got to have them, really. But at the same time, pretty decent. Um, oh, did, I, did I get one of those figures? Did I get three of them from? Nah. Because there was an Iron Man. There was an Iron Woman. And I think he, he, I don't know. He's probably somewhere else. So here we have the, uh, the Elite, the WWE. 
Elite, um, Razor Ramon. Hey, Chico. Chico. Hey, yo. So you got him, you got him here. You, you, you messing with the right guy, Chico. Razor Ramon. Um, I forgot how much you gave me Razor Ramon for. By the end of the day, everything came to ninety dollars. You got thirty here with the with the three Marvel Legends that I just showed you: X Men, the Spider Man, and the Black Widow. Um, at ten bucks a pop. And then that stuff was twenty, so that's fifty bucks. And then this bag, everything was a dollar in here. He did all these pops for a dollar. Even this game was a dollar. Um, where in, wait, wait, where in time is Carmen San Diego? I took it anyway. It's a dollar. I don't know what they go for, but it's, it's a dollar. Oh yeah, here's, here's the other figure. So you have this Iron Man type female. I don't know who she is. Uh, maybe it's Pepper Potts. I don't know, but it is a female or femaleish. Oh, who gives a shit? Then you got this little Batman dude. Um, all everything here is everything in this bag is a dollar. I'm not gonna sit here and show you every figure, but here is a Marvel. What? Who cares? It's a Marvel figure. A Marvel Captain America, three inch, three quarter. And we got a uh, Robin and Batman from like the Justice League or animated line. You know, we got both of them here. Um, then we got some pops here. I gotta take all these pops out, wipe them down. There are there are some Star Wars figures in here. Um, there's like three Scooby Doo figures: a Shaggy, Fred, well Sha Shaggy, Freddy, and Velma. As you guys, maybe you guys can see in here. I don't. Need, I'm not gonna take everything out and show. My video is already too long as it is. So, and you do got more. You do got Rick, as you can see him right there in the bag, and there are a lot more pops. So I'm going to wipe these down and, you know, try to clean off a lot of the uh, paint rub. And then I'm going to individually wrap them so they're safe. So, yeah, you got this stuff here. And I didn't, I didn't even count these. But at a dollar a piece, I, I trust them. So I'm not going to even, I'm not going to even, I'm tired. I don't want to, I really don't want to count them because I am exhausted. Alrighty then, so let me show you guys what else I got here. Um, you know, I, I'll show this later because this was from yesterday. I should have showed y'all that too. But now this is from this scalper at um, Columbus. But he sells a lot of his stuff. I guess once he makes his money, whatever he sells a lot of his stuff at cost. Like you might just, you know, pay five or, or five dollars or so more than tax. But it's still a lot better than what a lot of other people are selling stuff for. Everything is covered because it was kind of like raining a little bit, and I don't want the stuff to get wet from the raindrops because it is cardboard. So let me show you guys what I got. This stuff you got a hundred, then you got twenty and twenty is forty, so that's one hundred and forty, and then the other one he did thirty-five on it, so one hundred and seventy-five dollars. What I gave him for these two bags here. Let me show you guys what they are. So, he yeah, had both. You know, this guy lives in um, Target and stuff. You know, he's a scalper. He's very serious about it. And he tells you. So, you have here Leonardo and Rock Study. And, again, like I said, he had both of them. So, I grabbed them both. I don't have luck finding them. I don't know what they go for in the store. I don't know if they're thirty four ninety nine. dollars well, I'm pretty sure they're not thirty four ninety nine. They might be forty nine ninety nine or fifty nine ninety nine or forty four ninety nine. I don't know, but he had both of them. You got Michelangelo and Rock Study. No, I'm sorry, Michelangelo and Bebop. Then you got Leonardo versus Rock Study. The ironic thing is, so okay, so I'm guessing. Oh, I got it now. I'm looking at the back. So you got Leonardo versus Rocksteady, Michelangelo versus Bebop, then you got Raphael versus um Tri was it Triceraton? I can't read now. And Donatello versus the Shredder. I think that's kind of stupid. I think it should have been Raphael versus um Rocksteady because Rocksteady is more like he's more aggressive to me than Bebop. And I think Donatello should have went up against um. Uh, Bebop, 
Michelangelo should have took on Triceratron, and I think uh, it should have been Leonardo going up against Shredder. That's how they should have done it. That's how I would have done it, but whatever. Nice packaging, and so and all, I got both of them. I got two out of four. So maybe I'll walk into the store one day, and I'll see the uh, one of the other two and get them all. You know, you never know. Or I'll wait for him to get them, and I'll get them from him. If I, if I have to pay $10 more, at least it's out the way. So, we got more bags down. And then these three here. Three or two? Yeah, three pieces. We had to do it this way, so this way. Like I said, I didn't want the rain to mess up the cardboard. So, I do have another turtle, and I think I got two G.I. Joe's as well. Yeah, I did. And I did see this one, so it is, what is it, Mondo, Mondo Frog, Mondo Gecko or something like that? Yeah, Mondo, Mondo Shred, yeah. And this is really, really nice. The artwork and everything on this is beautiful, so. I just realized those, those verses are actually from Playmates. I thought they were NECA. Cause I was like, wait a minute, why do they look so different than this? I just, I just caught it. I just caught it, so I think I kind of screwed myself. Cause I'm pretty confident play, playmates are not asking fifty dollars for those. Uh, I thought they were NECA. I wasn't paying attention. So, all right, he got me. This was thirty-five bucks for this. I'm pretty sure this is only. I'm pretty sure this is $29.99. I don't know, but whatever. And. uh... Then these two, these two he gave them to me for 20 each. We got number 25 and 11, which I don't have neither one of these two. Uh, we got Cobra Island on uh, Roadblock. He actually looks like my cousin Terrell, um, this Roadblock. With the beard and everything. I actually like that. I think it, I, I think it looks badass. So I had to have that. And then um, we got Lady J. I've been looking for Lady J for like four months. Because I think I have Flint for that long now. And, you know, really, really, I mean, she actually looks almost like a three-inch, um, three-quarter counterpart as far as the suit. It looks like they didn't really do much with her suit, which I do like. That's one thing about this line I particularly don't like too much. And, um, I don't know, whatever, but I think a lot of people, it, t it took a lot of people to warm up to the classified line. Because when they first came out, I didn't like them. The only one I liked was Snake Eyes. Especially when they, did, like, when they first did that uh, that Pimp Daddy Dastro. I was like, what the hell are they doing? And I forgot that they actually made a 3 3 quarter version of that. So, yeah. And then I went back to Ralph again. Um, I think I got two. I got something else from him. I'm trying to think if I gave him $125 for the for the the GI Joe stuff, and then I came back for those four figures. Or it doesn't matter. Whatever. Who gives a crap? Whatever. Um, he wanted uh, 75 for this. It has Mondo Gecko in here. Um, has a couple of turtles. You know, it's got a you know. You know, I mean, it's okay for what it is. Uh, Casey Jones in there and stuff. So I'm going to take the figures out of here that are complete. Like, I mean, well, you know, they have all their body parts. And I'm going to wipe them down. And then I'm going to clean them. Because I got a, I got a bin of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles stuff yesterday at the Meadowlands. Um, from this old white guy who normally he get who gets stuff. And those are mainly weapons. And, you know, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle weapons, you can get anywhere from $5 to $20 a weapon. Depending on which it is for who. So, I got this from Ralph as well. Ralph wanted 75 for this. which I, 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 I thought he was going to say over 100. So, when he said 75, I was like, alright, well, what's the best you can do right now? I said, would you take 50 for it? He was like, you know what? Yeah, take it. He's like, alright, no problem. So, that's how I know he probably had this for a minute and he just wanted to get rid of it. Because my boy Bobby was like, you know, the GI, like on um, the, uh, the Teenage Mutant Turtle stuff he got from, he got from me in a trade. About two weeks ago, he said he ain't selling not one of them yet. They're not moving. So. Whatever. We got this crap in here. 
There's some figures in here that I might just turn around and just take them back to the flea market and just sell them for like $2 or $3 or something like that. Um, yeah, that's about everything um, that I got. I also got this from uh, Ralph Tool. I think I paid 10 for it. He wanted 20 5 for it. No, I paid 15 He wanted 25 and I do like the G.I. Joe lunch boxes. I don't have this particular one because it's got sort of slaughter and stuff on it, but this one does come with a thermos, which is always missing on a lot of these things. And, you know, with the thermos, this thing's probably worth 30 or 40 bucks. Um, he went at 25 for it, which is not far off what they probably go for. It probably goes for a couple of dollars more. And it had the thermos, and I said, would you do 15? He said, sure. So, get, you know, 15 for this. The one, the one 15 for the heat, the, the G.I. Joe stuff couple of hours earlier, more like four four hours earlier. Uh, and then last but not least, the stuff I forgot to show you guys yesterday. This bin. Uh, actually, it was in it was in it was in my it was in a truck. That's why I couldn't get to it because I know I was going today. So this is the party van parts. It's not a full van. It's missing parts. And I paid $18 for all this. I paid $18. This is, I think, I, I don't know if it's an action figure or a Maginex Play Mobile. So it's a Play Mobile Jurassic Park, uh, like little forklift thing. That's going to go out to be resold. Then there's other stuff here that's just parts. You have here. A my, some kind of Mighty Max machine thing, so I'll hold on to that until I get more Mighty Max crap. But like I said, I paid 18 bucks for this whole bin of crap. And here we have um, one of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, probably from like the movie. We have Crane's little machine thing. Crane is in here because I've seen him. There are some body parts in here, but I don't know what goes to what. I added this to it, but I have no idea about this. You have um, a Michael Keaton slash Batman. Because his suit is like kind of incognito when you put the little cape and stuff over it. It kind of gives you the illusion that he's in a bat suit. So, so we got some more turtle parts. And we got Michelangelo here, who has no arms, but his arms are probably in here. So you got Mikey and Donnie. We got another Donatello, like he's missing all types of parts. I mean, Bobby did ask me how much I was asking for this. And I looked at him with a smirk, and I was like, 100. And he didn't say it was crazy. He just didn't, didn't respond. You got, I think this is Tokar. But whatever, he's missing parts too. Um, I gotta go through this. But I paid, I paid, uh, what again? Eight, eighteen dollars for this. You got April O'Neil. I didn't know that she was broke. Her, her leg was broken. I had no idea. But whatever, this parts here. I mean, I think it was worth it. We have here a uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle 3 movie, um, Ralph, I mean, um, Michael, um, Donatello, he's just missing that other arm. So I'll, I'll look for it. It may be in there, but it's not, I'll just, you know, part the stuff out. Who cares? And yep, April's leg is broken. So there's another one in, in the stuff I got for Ralph earlier. So let me know what you guys think in the comments, man. I am exhausted. I'm going to let this upload, and I'm going to take a nap. I'm, there's a good chance I may not I may not wake up until next the next day, or late at night or something. Who knows? Because I am beyond beat. Anyway, y'all, peace out.